Well, let's turn now to Dr. Jen Ashton, who is back with answers to some of your questions about the coronavirus crisis. Dr. Jen, thank you so much. So the first question, is the development of a COVID-19 vaccine delaying developments of other vaccines or medical research? This is a great question, Amy, and there's yes and no parts to the answer. First of all, in general, um, just because so much of the focus in the scientific and medical community in terms of research and development globally has been shunted to dealing with COVID-19, SARS-CoV-2, Trust me when I tell you that other research is still ongoing. However, we have talked here before about interruption in supply chains and, and other things that are integral in the research and development process. So the large global answer is no, those things are still ongoing, but could there be some slowdown interruption? Of course, it's always possible. Okay, a lot of questions about cleaning our hands, our surfaces. <laughs> this one asks, what is the difference between antimicrobial and antibacterial? Great question again, and this one really has to do with language and vocabulary. So when we say antimicrobial, we're talking about all microbes, viruses, parasites, vi uh, bacteria, fungus uh, that can cause infection. That, those are all microbes. Antibacterial is specifically for bacteria, and then you can divide that term up into things we call bacteria static, meaning it just kind of pauses the bacterial growth, bactericidal, kills those mm -hmm. organisms. So again, some medical and infectious disease linguistics. All right, we appreciate those <laughs> yeah. definitions. Dr. Jen, thank you. you and you can submit your questions to Dr. Jen on her Instagram at Dr. J Ashton. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.